Hello everyone, how are you all of you? I hope you all are doing well. Yeah. So coming back with the same chapter, chapter three in the earlier city. The chapter is of history. Students, in the last chap uh, chapter, means the chapter we talked about in the early history, the last video we talked about till the Great Bath, starting from the settled agriculture, early human beings, then uh, with the farmers and settlers, the hunters and gatherers, they started developing themselves. They started experiencing something new. They got a good knowledge. They had a good ideas. So the last topic which we studied in the last video was about the Great Bath. I told you I will be showing you the picture of the Great Bath. Yeah, this is about the Great Bath and the steps over here. You can see the structure of the particular bath. Now students, this particular thing that was being said that this was being developed due to because they was uh, in this particular place, they thought that yes, this place was holy. They thought that it is holy. Some people used to dip in it and they felt that yeah, this was the important site in this particular place that is in the Harappan civilization. Next we talk about the cities and construction and that is bricks and walls. When we talked about the brick, uh, the great bath, then we talked about the materials, how they used about it. We just say now how these things they used was. Okay, so cities in construction, bricks and walls. So walls of baked brick were built around each part of the city, lower town and the cities. You know the lower town cities and you have seen the citadel. The bricks were baked so well that they were lasted thousands of years. They were so well maintained by the people when they stayed in those times, they made so nice bricks that it is still maintained with her lasted with thousands of years, as you can see on the screen. Next is the bricks were laid in an interlocking pattern. Interlocking pattern means students, one is horizontal, second is the, the another one is with vertical. Again, another is horizontal, another is vertical. So this was making uh, the, uh, the bricks and the houses they made it of bricks were making it stronger because of this interlocking pattern. Therefore, the walls were stronger. So, now we talked about houses. How were the houses? That we talked about the cities, that we talked about the development. Now we talk about houses. Houses, houses are generally one or two story high. Okay, rooms were built around a courtyard. Courtyard means the center, the outside part of it. And most houses had a separate bathing area. Most of the part or had a bathing area, but it was separated. It was not in the at their home. Okay, and they had well to supply the water. So this they had a well to supply the water that time. So this we come to know that this Harappan civilization was been well maintained with the wells. They were knowing about the health and hygiene. Then we talk about drains, sophisticated drainage and covered drains away. That means those time people were more alert about their health and hygiene. Yes, so we come to know about the drains. Nextly, we can say drains were laid out in straight lines as you saw in the previous. See, it has been uh, covered with the bricks but in the straight line. Most drains had a gentle slope so water could flow through it. Drains from houses were connected to drains on street. Smaller drains lead to a bigger ones. Inspector holes. Now, inspector holes were, they were provided intervals to clean the drains. Those were the inspector holes that whatever the water is coming on it, that would be cleaning of the water. So, that was an inspector holes. Houses, drains and streets were probably and built at the same time. So, that same time it was being built off. Next, we talk about water and supply and drainage. You can see the wells, you can see the how the uh, maintains, how they have maintained then the slopes and all. So, this is water supply and drainage. Okay, now how was the life in the city? How were their life? They were said as a uh, very skilled people. They were being said that yes, they had constructed the site like about houses, they had baked the uh, bricks. Yes, then how were their lives? What were their lifestyle? So the life in the city. The city was busy place. The rulers probably planned to the construction of special building in the city. Also sent people to a distant lens to get metal and precious stone. Now those time people went to the distant places. 
for what? To take something or to give something like we can say to get a metal, they used to get a metal or precious stone, etc. So also, they were scribes. Who are they? People who knows how to write and they had to prepare the seals. Craftsperson made all kind of things in them, homes or a special workshops. Travelers who brought raw materials and stories from distant lands. Children played with terracotta toys, many of which have been found the remains and the remains we have found it of. Okay, and how did we come to know about this? We'll only know by the people who study about the past events, the archaeologists. Yes, you can see the terracotta toys over here and you can see the sills. So this was the how that we come to know about the scribes, about the craft person. Now craft person may be either male also or either female also. And the travelers, they had uh, uh, brought raw materials and they and the stories from the distant lands and the story means whatever they used to do in the far lands, they used to come, they uh, used to share the ideas in those places. Next we talk about new crafts in the city. Now if there is, if we talk about uh, the toys and all, then how did they used to make new crafts? They need something for their material. So the new crafts in the city, how was this new crafts in the city? Well, let us know. Archaeologists have found things made of stone like shell, metal. Metal includes like copper and bronze. That means metal and, uh, sorry, copper and bronze was being used to make tools, weapons and ornaments it was being used. Whereas gold and silver were being used to make ornaments and vessels. So this is how uh, the crafts in the city were being found of by the archaeologist people. Archaeologist people are those who study about the past and analyze it from it. Now let's see the crafts that we have been uh, in the city. So seal, weight, pots and beads. Seals were made of stone, generally in a rectangular shape as you can see on the screen and usually have an animal cowed on them. As you can see over here, the animals have been uh, carved on it. There is elephant. Yeah, so we can come to know by the seals and we come to know that this particular coin was of this uh, ruler. Beads were made out of carnel, a beautiful red stones. You can see the beads. Okay, that is uh, beautiful beads and those are the stones. So pots were painted with beautiful black designs. Even pots were being made of weights. This is a weight. This, as you can see, weight made of chort. Chort is means what? Those here you can see the stones. They were being say a stone, a kind of a stone. Chort means a kind of stone. And precisely shape means smaller shape than the bigger than the larger. So they had a shape. They used to make a different different types of shape probably used to weight precious stone or metals. Why they were using chert and this weight? Because for the precious stone to weight that how the stone is, means uh, how much the content of the stone is or the metal. So this was the way how they used this all crafts work and the metal. Okay, let's talk craft in the city. Cotton, spindle and fenance. Cotton, now let's see all the three things that is craft in the city. Cotton, spindle and fions. Cotton was grown at Megar 700 years ago. Okay, here we can come to know about it. Archaeologists have found cotton cloth attached to the lead and of silver base and some copper objects at Mohan Shudaro. So the, at those time also, copper, uh, cotton was being grown in this part of the area that is Mehargar. Then let's come to see the spindle. Now what is spindle? As you can see over here on, on the screen. Who a uh, spindle was made of terracotta and fions were used to spin the thread. You can see over here as this lady is spinning the thread. Yeah, and this particular uh, rod which is known as spindle was. So this is how we come to know about this, all the things about cotton, fions and spindle. Now let's see what is fions. Fions is an artificial pro uh, produced material, a gum used to shape sand or power quarters to make an object. The object were then glazed. Glazed means they make a type of blue or green color and make it very shiny of and a shiny glass surface. And so color of the glaze would be blue or sea green. Used to make beads. Now why it was being used? Because of beads, bangles, earrings and turn vessels. 
Okay, so students, we uh, read about this cotton. We read about, we knew about the beads, and we knew about the fans. Okay, now this way the crafts how this people used to prepare. This was the construction how they used to did in those time of the area. I hope students, the concept is clear. Study well, stay safe.